Welcome back, everybody. Today we're doing another introducing series. This is a new platform, a little bit like the old Civit AI and Hugging Face. It's focused on safe for work. We're going to go over some of the details. It's called Shaker.ai. It's um, pretty cool. You can set up and create your own account. Once you've got your account set up, you can start importing models from Civit AI if you've got them, or you can just re upload your model and put up all of the interesting stuff. I'll give you a show. Just go click new model. Put the name in, select the type, uh, fill out all the relevant information. Okay. And like I said, we're going to try doing this. Now, they do not like pornographic, violent, illegal content. They do not like intellectual property infringement. They do not re do not repost XX models. Um, I'm guessing that's like, don't just post stuff you didn't make. So this is going to be a more curated platform. They do not want to do not safe for work um it's pretty interesting i mean if i just take a quick look over here um there's already a lot of models on here they also say if you uh pay for the membership you've got commercial rights so i'm guessing there's some kind of um agreement with the cut with the content creators but as i say i've got some stuff so they've got many high quality stable diffusion models they're completely different from civit ai in that they don't do not safe for work models they offer a vast selection of high quality models for creative design in various fields, including portraits, anime, architecture, illustration, and e-commerce. As I said before, if you join the membership, member exclusive models can be used for commercial purposes. So there's a couple of models which I like. Um, like I said, I've just been looking through here. This one here is pretty cool. The Memphis color scheme. It's a really nicely well-defined anime style. Uh, there was another one I saw, the Color of the Beast, which is producing some really interesting. It's almost like a vector style anime artwork. I also like this eyes optimization, Laura, here. Um, but to be honest, you know, you can spend hours searching through here. Like right here, we've got this simple hand painted line art. I'm going to take a copy of these. And like I said, you can load these in with Comfy, stay, uh, Automatic 1111, and they do actually have an online image generator, a bit like Civit AI has. So pretty much like one thing that's nice that you can do, obviously, is you could load up, for example, this model here, Wildcard XL, right? And it being a checkpoint, we can probably load a bunch of Lauras on top of this as well. And so obviously, if you wanted to do some photography, you would pick a more realistic model. Whereas if you wanted to do some line art or advertisement icon design, I would take something more like this. Um, this sort of thing would be nice for like birthday cards, t-shirts, any kind of like online posts where you want to do like, a, you know, social media. These sorts of things are really good. And like I said, if you're able to load the iLaura over the top of any Stable Diffusion 1.5 model, this is going to give you, if you're doing an anime project, it's going to give you some really nice eyes. And I don't doubt that if I was just to search for eyes right now, it's probably going to bring up a whole bunch of other Lauras which I could use to enhance the eyes in either photographic, illustration, CGI, What's this one here? Have we found ourselves a nice architectural model? Something interesting to note is if you do want to do architectural stuff, any type of building can be used because it's obviously just used as like a grid or a perspective drawing. This would obviously give, as it's prompted here, you know, what you ask for, a bunch of trees and na nature scenery. But uh, like I said, you can learn a lot by copying the prompts in the demo images. So it's very similar to Civit AI. The only main difference being they do not do not safe for work. And if you have a membership, you can do commercial use. So that's pretty cool. Like I said, I do recommend those models, which I previously showed. So that would be Wildcard XL for the uh, photorealistic stuff, Memphis for the line art and cartoon. And then this one is called Color of the Beast, which would be a nice little uh laura okay to load on top of a checkpoint so you want to get a nice fine-tuned checkpoint i think i did recommend one just earlier uh let me see if i can just quickly find it yeah where is it gone uh, is it that one wild card yeah wild card x realistic 
So this would be an actual checkpoint, which you can use as your 1.5 base. This is pretty nice, you know. Um, obviously, I would have to actually run tests to make sure that I'm getting the same outputs as this. Sometimes you have to get the settings just right. Okay. But that's all you need to know. Right. So let's go full screen and check out the generation. Obviously, what I've done is I've gone run model from the uh, Wildcard X checkpoint. All right. So there's the checkpoint run model. And uh, I've also wanting to get a Laura, but I'll do that in a minute. So I think what we've got is we've got this whiteboard. So we've got middle mouse and we can drag around. We've also got a gallery over here, which I believe is so we can like send, we can get some inspiration. It's actually got some really cool features. So let's just sort of have a little bit of a jet. So I asked for a woman in a sports vest standing in front of a brick wall. We're using Wildcard X XL as our base. We're using DPM plus plus 2M Karas with 20 sampling steps. I think you get 200 credits off the bat. So I've used uh, four credits to make two images here. I'm actually going to take that. Nah, actually, we can do two images. That's fine. There's an option here for face hand fix, and you can choose an add-on. Okay, which is interesting. So I'm going to say fix face, and I'm also going to say fix hand. Uh, I do want 1024 by 768. You can add an image reference. There's all kinds of stuff. So, all right, now we've got fix face and fix hand. I'm taking it as giving me a random seed. Yeah, there we go, random seed. So all our options are here. Up top, we've got in paint, upscale, remove background, remover, crop, out paint. So what I want to do is I want to add the Wildcard X Laura, which they recommend. Okay. So if I say wild uh, card, and then we look for Wildcard X detail. There we go. So we add that, put it at 0.8. This is all pretty nice so far. And then we'll just generate a new seed and see what we get. What's nice is you've got the option to download, the option to see the full scale, vary, uh, take the prompt, match the model. So I guess we can use the image to match the model that we've got selected and then reference. So we could use this as a reference image. Hmm. I'm getting a lot of uh, credits. I'm guessing that it must be making stuff that it doesn't like and uh, I'm getting, you know, credited. But let's try uh, selecting the thing and let's try remove background. Let's see. There we go. That was pretty good. Whoop. Okay. Contr so control mouse wheel to scroll, scroll out. That's useful to know. Open this on this side. We've got ideas. We've got move. We've got upload image. Uh, we could try the upscaler, see what that's like. So let's say we want to do a 2x upscale and it's a realistic portrait. This is all pretty cool. 2x to 4x. So go all the way if you want. We'll zoom in, control mouse wheel. And that's the original. Original. And that's the upscale. So there's a big bias towards Asian, but we could negative prompt Asian. It's a really good, uh, apart from the hands, the hands are really screwed up. Like the detail has done a great job, but it's just too much to save over here. It's the weirdest hand uh, position. But other than that, that's really good. You know, it's just a shame it's like super... Okay, right. Well, that generation failed as well. So all I can say is you got to mess around with it. A lot of these functions just work amazingly well. Some of them seem to get you get credited. So I'm not losing any credits, you know, um, just maybe for some reason, the images that are getting generated, are, you know, not good. For whatever reason, they're refunding me a lot of generations. That's the only thing I've really noticed. Uh, there's a lot of cool features on here. Everything's all built in. It's super cool that you can just, you know, um, that you can just pick 
and then just select from a drop down which type of control net you want it to be using and stuff. Um, in fact, look at wait, there we go. There's an even better menu of it here. Look, so, so have a little play around with it. There's full tutorials available on the website. They've got a Discord, so you can go and talk to all the cool people that live up in there. Don't forget to pl plow through all of the examples to see what other people are doing. All in all, I'm slowly uploading my stuff, but it's under review. So I was hoping to be able to show you one of my models and do some generations and stuff, but that'll have to come for the next video. So for now, um, it's nice to see a more curated uh, repository, a public gallery sort of website come up. and. Um, I support this sort of thing so the more the merrier and like i said you can make images you can upload your models and they do support stable diffusion 3 models as well because there's a bit of an embargo going on on some platforms due to the licensing so other companies take a different view i believe if we actually uh, go to models we can change the filter to stable diffusion 3 I haven't tried these myself, but we have got a fine-tuned checkpoint. We have got some fine-tuned LORAs. But there will be more information on that in the next video. So I'd like to thank you for joining me, and I'll see you in the next one.